This video describes the purpose of each terminal block and other elements of the Z-Wave.me Wiren Board 7 controller. Wiren Board 7 has a modular architecture. Some modules are inserted inside the case of a controller. Others are connected from the side. Two versions of the controllers are available with Z-Wave and Zigbee modules and with the Z-Wave, Zigbee, and KNX modules. Low-RA, RS-232, GPS, Open Therm, E-Bus modules, Backup Power module, various I.O. modules, 4G modem, additional one-wire, and RS-45 slash Modbus modules are also available to order. The controller is mounted on a DIN rail. There is a controller operation indicator on the front panel, S. Next to it is the power toggle switch, on, off. The first terminal block in the top row is for power supply, ground and two power input connectors. If you connect two power supplies, the one that gives you the higher voltage will be used. This is convenient for connecting the main power supply and a backup supply, for example, a battery. The controller can be powered from a voltage of 9 to 48 volts. Two Ethernet connectors. Zigbee Antenna. The built-in Zigbee module allows to connect Zigbee devices from various brands, such as IKEA, Akara. Z-Wave Antenna. The built-in Z-Wave module allows to connect Z-Wave, Z-Wave Plus, and Z-Wave Plus long-range devices from various brands such as Fibaro, Jasco, Danalock, Heatit, Helton. USB-C debug network connector for quick setup from a laptop. USB-C debug console connector for diagnostics. Terminal for connecting the KNX bus for the version with KNX. The terminal's module output 1, 2, and 3 are designed for additional plug-in modules. In the version with the KNX module, output 1 is occupied by the KNX terminal. Module output 3 is occupied by the Zigbee module. In the bottom row, there is a USB connector for connecting flash drives. 4G modems, and other peripherals. FW button to confirm firmware update and reset the controller to factory default. Wi-Fi and Bluetooth low energy antenna. Wi-Fi can work in client or access point mode. Terminal block with three analog inputs or digital inputs slash outputs, A1, A2, A3, and one digital input slash output, D1. Terminal block for powering sensors with 5 volt and ground contacts. The power output is limited to 0.5 amps. The terminal block with contacts W1 and W2 is designed to connect one wire sensors and can also be used as a GPIO. Two terminal blocks for powering additional devices with VOUT and ground contacts. Powered by input voltage and can be programmatically enabled slash disabled. The current through both terminals should not exceed 1 ampere. Terminal block for connecting the RS-485 bus with contacts A and B. Terminal block for connecting the RS-485 and CAN bus with contacts AL and BH. Under the cover, an additional extension module for nano SIM cards can be installed. Provides 4G connectivity. There is also a micro SD card slot on the left side. On the right side, there is a connector for connecting additional modules to a DIN rail.